This content is brought to you by Blind Help Project, www.blindhelp.net. Envisioning a brighter tomorrow through the lens of technology. Click the subscribe button and visit our website for more information. Hey everyone, this is Hamza and just a quick update. So following up on the previous topic where I introduced iOS 12 in details, just a quick update to the shortcuts app as I described in that video too, you know, that something is coming up regarding shortcuts. So basically the IFTT app, that app has now been changed to shortcuts. It's more personalized and what's really cool is that they are trying really hard to integrate that into Siri. For example, if I install a shortcut named uh, Take Picture, you know, there are a lot of shortcuts to choose from and there's a wide range of categories that you can look for. So, you know, if you add any shortcut into your Siri, it's like App Store and you can just install the shortcut you want, except that, you know, it, it's not like MBs. It's just just a few bytes and you can just get details of the shortcut you know how it's created because you can program shortcuts within the app itself which is really cool feature by apple so when you install a shortcut you can actually go to siri and uh, personalize that shortcut for example if the shortcut's name is take picture and when you run it it takes the picture it's not very meaningful but when you record a phrase for example geez in Siri, it becomes really useful because when you will actually say that, then the command is executed and the picture is taken. So you can make Siri very, very smart with this. You can't even imagine. You can download files. You can change the font of a web page. You can speed videos up. You can speed it down. You can tell your estimated arrival time to people automatically and you know it just goes beyond my expectations so let's just take a quick look at the app by the way i've just chosen the irish english voice because it sounds really cool it's just the irish siri female voice enhanced selected library tab so you'll be welcomed with a dialog box saying welcome to shortcuts and then you'll try to download the app it'll say that you know apple's media's terms and conditions have been updated you can just click on agree so in here there are two tabs gallery tab two of two selected library tab one of two here are my installed shortcuts and gallery tab two. gallery, so gallery is just like an app store for the shortcuts shortcuts for sharing button wonderful widget shortcuts button run shortcuts and other apps button shortcuts for apple music button great shortcuts for siri heading wide range of categories see all button add these shortcuts to siri to get things done with your voice heading to work get your eta calendar event and playlist going for your commute button home eta share how long it will take for you to get home button so it uses maps to see where your home is and it locates to that and counts the time that it will you know take depending on the speed you're going you know it's really cool because it uses a lot of features and let's say if we want to see how it works select we'll it cancel that. home in, pro in progress because we can also see how it's programmed which is really cool because it's like getting a source code of a software this short maps location See. messages it needs permission to access your location maps messages because it uses all of those which is really handy contacts contacts you know because it will display the contacts get shortcut button show action no, we won't button. get it yet we would just click on show, show actions. actions show actions maps street address action send a text message oh, cancel right. cancel share button home eta heading send a text message with how long it will take for you to get home this is functionality maps street address action heading line one one apple parkway dimmed text field it's dimmed because apple maps will input the address into this line two dimmed city that's just the you know american standard for address cupertino state california postal code 90 country Pakistan maps get travel time action heading all right this is the function of maps that they're using from current location dimmed button transportation mode 
driving, dimmed, book text, text action, heading, I'll be home at, ETA, exclamation mark. So now they're telling that, you know, the uh, estimated arrival time from maps, which is what we have gotten, should be inputted in here after I'll be home at, sharing, send message action, heading, see, show when run, dimmed, switch button on, it's dimmed because this shortcut has been already created and we are not allowed to edit it. Recipients. Phone or email. Add contact. Dimmed. Put message. Get shortcut. Button. So if I want to get it, I'll just Back. click on. Button. Conf it. What is your home street address? Line 1. Hmm. One apple. Continue. Skip setup. Button. Skip setup. So basically, I will go to Siri and there will be shortcuts and I will click on all shortcuts and we'll find this one. And when I will click on that, they will ask if I want to record a personalized phrase as I've already shown how it works in FTTT. You know, so it'll work the same way and I can just record a personalized phrase like send estimated arrival time or SAT. Just anything that I like, you know, that, that I think should be useful. And then it'll automatically run the shortcut. Okay, just an update before I leave that after messing around with the app and after using it for quite a while, I totally feel something completely different for this app. I feel as if my iPhone has a completely new redesign and it has new power. Imagine this. Hey Siri, download a file using the link on my clipboard and open sharing options. It will actually do so. You know, you don't have to install external downloaders, you know, all of this. I mean, how handy is that? Hey Siri, describe this emoji. Hey Siri, run estimated arrival time. Hey Siri, take a photo and share it to WhatsApp. Hey Siri, download the latest file from my Dropbox and upload it into iCloud and copy the link. I mean, such complicated tasks that I could have never dreamt of are now achievable since this add-on thing has been progressing every single day and after they have released an update, people are working even more on that. I can see it completely revolutionizing the way we use iPhone. Like. It can even handle tasks as changing the font of your Safari web page. When you click on get shortcut button inside of that app, since it's only a f like a few bytes, you know, it just downloads in half a second. That's just amazing, like remarkable. You can even have the source code and whatnot. I mean, I can say that that's something that I'm really proud of. So I hope you liked this tutorial and found it to be very helpful. And please like our video and subscribe to our channel so you can keep connected with us and as we update. See you, Allah Hafiz. Subscribe to our channel and keep visiting www.blindhelp.net for the latest software, articles, tutorials, and demonstrations. Participate in our discussion forum and interact with us via our social media outlets.